This is Annie Simonian, the woman who maybe is little known today, but whose activities extend from the United States to Armenia. Ani Simonian was born in Iran and later on moved to the U.S. with her family, which she considers as one of the best events in her life. Ani has her own business in the United States in the financial sphere. But there is a connection between her two jobs. She highlights that there is an importance for people to understand psychologically. Ani is an ideal figure of Armenian woman, hardworking, charming, purposeful, full of faith, mother of three children. Ani's visit to Armenia is not accidental. She came to dedicate, create and tell, transmit her knowledge and experience. She has come to prove the unique and unusual character of Armenian woman, and generally Armenians once again. Hi Ani, how are you? Good, how are you? Tell us a little bit about yourself. A crazy, passionate woman who loves life, knows how to live it, thank you Lord, and uh, is a mother to three incredible children uh, who really are the purpose and motivation to my life. The best advice for your children? Uh, to be true to themselves, um, to live with love, to never give up, um, to allow and surrender for God's guidance. I'm not going to be here forever. What do you love most of all in Armenian woman? Her beauty. Armenian woman is a beautiful, beautiful creature, soul. Um, and um, when I say beauty, I mean beauty inside out. Uh, the grace that we carry, we, have, we are known for our eyes. Hayat uh, right? Uh, you look into our eyes, you can see a thousand different things. Tell us a little bit about the purpose of visiting Armenia. Well, it was really simple. I love to give. Uh, it's one of my passions and I've been doing a lot of philanthropical, charitable, charitable work overseas in the U.S. for many years. Um, however, um, I decided to participate in some of the work in Armenia. So I'm excited to come here and contribute and give uh, to the hospitals, um, to the children who need shelter. It saddens me. I have three beautiful kids and uh, I'm grateful that I've been able to give them the life that they have. My dream is for all of us, all of our children to have a great life. They deserve it. It's not their fault they're in that situation. Um, as, well as, as well as spirituality, um, I noticed in the hospital that I went visiting recently, and it, I was here in September, we did not have um, a therapist, a psychologist, to be there to hear the mothers go through their journey and the kids to have hope, to have games, interactive things, to keep them away a little bit or boost up their spirit, inspire them, motivate them. So this time around, I hope I could dent a little bit and help one of the hospitals in, in um, creating that spiritual or psychological center or um, team that can help our families who are in the hospital who are already dealing with their agony of their sick child, including their sick children, you know, help them out. Isn't it too difficult for you to see it? It's painful. It's very painful. As a matter of fact, it's been an emotional experience for me uh, visiting here. And when I see the kids' faces, truly, I, um, we're, blessed. we're blessed at home because we're able to give our children such an incredible life. Here, the Safe. children safety and I get emotional. The children here need a lot and um, and we need to help more. So it's, uh, sorry I get emotional a little bit. Okay. Yes, our children here um, lack many. They're amazing children. Uh, they're, they're so sweet and so graceful and so patient. Um, they know how it is to, to bear hardship, but we need to do more nourishment, soul nourishment. We need um, to know that we are protected, we are guided, especially with what happened most recently in this country. This was not an easy transition. It was a miracle. I consider it a miracle. We need to know that we need to stay strong, we need to believe in us, and we need to take our steps further. So you are a business lady in America, and you are going to become business lady in Armenia as well. 
I don't know. I don't know what this journey is going to bring me. And maybe, perhaps, I mean, I actually did look at it. Being the business-minded I am, I came in, I came in and observed how it is um, if I were to have a business here. Met some amazing folks, amazing Armenian women, business women that do have multiple businesses here. Um, so I am. I have my options open. I would like to be able to be here and be in the States, United States. I would love to live here sometimes during the year as well. So if I do decide or when I do come, to, come here, I would like to have some sort of a business set mine, yes. Well, let me say that Armenian women are extraordinary. Beyond. I'm with you 100%. We are because the culture again. We, uh, most importantly, um, being a mother, the mother we are, uh, it just being able to give and love so deeply, so unconditionally as a mom gives us the practice to naturally also be incredible everywhere else because, because it comes naturally. So, sure. cheers to Armenia, cheers. to Armenian culture. Cheers, indeed, and to us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Living a thousand miles far from Armenia, Ani Simonian does not forget about the image of Armenian woman and her importance in the family. It is important for her to help people. That is why she cooperates with the Armenian Lighthouse Foundation, established in 2006. Its mission is to assist poor and unemployed people in Armenia, to provide important services to women and children in Armenia and most importantly, to preserve the integrity of Armenian family. This is the room for mothers and children. Since 2018 is a year of duck, we have prepared 300 ducks and presented to the staff of Armenia TV. They enjoy doing handmade work, for example, sewing, needlework, a number of ceremonies are held in our church, and our children are baptized right here in St. Mary's Church, built in 2013. Marriages as well? Yes, of course, it's fully functional church. Here, in the first section, is to be built hairdressing salon. In the second part, there will be a hammer, so that children can get healthy nourishment, echo eggs, echo chicken. For Ani, there are people who are irreplaceable, and among them are those who have become members of their family, who are also distinguished by their patriotism. During her short visit to Armenia, Ani Simonian's next stop was to meet her friends, Barujan Muradian and his family at their own winery. Returning back to his roots, both physically and metaphorically, founder and winemaker Barujan Muradian and his wife Anahid moved from California to Armenia. Having fallen in love with wine, he knew he had developed a passion for making wine he couldn't ignore. Van is an ancient capital of Armenia with rich winemaking history. The winemaker and family named the winery Van Ardi, meaning son of Van. Choosing the land plot in Aragazotan region, the Muradians set up their winery which today welcomes both Armenians and tourists. We are a surprisingly cheerful nation and no one and nothing can break the spirit of the Armenian nation. The eternal light, said the great poet Hovanes Tumanyan. And Ani Simonian is a cheerful and lively, creative and devoted woman, the son of Armenian nation. Being a humble person, Ani even hardly agreed to speak and tell us about herself. This is the Armenian business lady, psychologist and benefactor, Ani Simonian. 